I'm not Colin, I'm Jonathan for the record. <laughs> I am Betsy. Okay, starting us off with a couple of quick facts. How many of you know that Children's Hospital is actually the third ranked hospital in the nation? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Of that, 1,600 families are actually in financial services need. Um, so what we're here to do today is the Junior Council for Children. We're here to identify the need of these families, talk about the opportunity of partnering with the hospital and making a difference, the solution that our Junior Council offers, and what you guys can do to help. So the families that we're trying to help, here's an example. Here's the Scholl's family. Uh, we have Amy and her two daughters who have been diagnosed with EDS, which is a connective tissue disorder. The symptoms can range from anything from mild to life-threatening, and unfortunately in the Scholl's case, it's pretty serious. Um, Amy and her youngest daughter actually had to go in for cranial spinal surgery. Amy was on the phone with the insurance company every single day and had tens of thousands of dollars of medical bills. I can't even understand that kind of stress. As Betsy mentioned, the Schultz family did receive treatment at Children's Hospital, as do many other out-of-town critical patients that go there because of the history, the reputation, and the resources of Children's. Um, Children's has a huge economic impact on Cincinnati, and they also are very involved in the community, partnering with nonprofit organizations that have the combined goals of solving all kinds of child-related health issues. For all that Children's Hospital does, it constantly is receiving national accolades. Um, as Cincinnatians, you should all feel very proud that your city is home to the third-ranked children's hospital in the nation. It's pretty impressive. Um, one thing that separates children's hospital from other pediatric hospitals is the charitable care fund. The, Ch the Schultz family received the support of the charitable care fund, and there are 1,600 other families just like the Schultzes, only 7% of which are getting support. Charitable Care Fund is underfunded and it needs our assistance. The mission of the Charitable Care Fund was something that appealed to our group. Um, the families that are referred to the fund are young and um, they have employed parents with critically ill children and they have private insurance but their insurance has run out and the med medical bills are out of pocket. So we've identified these families that are in need. We know the Children's Hospital is an amazing organization to work with. And there are actually over 270,000 young professionals in Cincinnati. So we wanted to put our group at the epicenter of those three opportunities. Our model is based off another junior council in Chicago. Definitely want to leverage a model that works. We align on the same goals of fundraising, awareness, and networking. Um, vision and mission, I think, most first and foremost, is this idea of building community. That's why we're all here. Cincinnati's created building community. I think drilling down to a level from there is this idea of philanthropy, especially with, for young professionals. We're kind of all starting to get into that. And I think our unique proposition here is the healthcare service. Um, scope of fundraising, we're having quarterly events and an annual event, so kind of participate at whatever feels comfortable. We're all very busy people, but all want to make a difference, so kind of want to give that variety to everyone. And then the part that's most important to me is awareness. I'm sure that we all know a family that's had to call on the services of Children's Hospital, and I'm sure that they've made a great difference in their life, but the financial burden is insurmountable. And I know that when my friend Rachel was going through things, all I wanted to do was help. And now I'm proud to say that I'm part of an organization that can make a difference and that you guys can be a part of this organization as well. And then networking. You know, we're all here as young professionals trying to kind of be the best and the brightest within our professional communities. I've met some amazing people working on the board for this already. And it's just, me. Yep, it's Jonathan. And just kind of want to open up the opportunity to the rest of you. Currently, our group is comprised of 12 individuals um, who have experienced the benefits of the Charitable Care Fund. Um, we, along with our organizations, are committed to seeing this charitable fund grow and thrive. Um, but we can't do it alone. We need your help. We need your time, talent, and treasure. And um, there are a number of ways to get involved. You can join our organization. You can come to our organization's events, or you can donate to our organization. Your first opportunity to get involved is December 14th um, at the Rookwood in Mount Adams. There are a number of details on our Facebook page. Then, starting December 20th, Yo Deal, um, Cincinnati's version of Groupon, is donating their charitable contribution to our group. So. Unless you, get, you guys think that this guy is an absolute vile person, we want you guys to get involved in our group. And um, if you guys could stand up, um, contact anyone who's involved in our group. Um, we want you guys, we want your input, 
and we want uh, as much information as we can get from you. So really quickly, just touching on the Charitable Care Fund and the Schultz family, you know, this little boy is the boy in the family and has been worried about his family's medical bills and health. And I think Amy's point is that doctors make such a difference and the Charitable Care Fund makes an equal difference and that's why we're here to support them. So thank you. Thanks for your support.